What's a mild inconvenience that drives you fucking crazy? When you can't plug something into a power strip because the plugs are too big and the outlets are too close together. When you can't back your furniture against the wall because it will smash the cord that is plugged in. My car has three windshield wiper speeds, super fast, super duper fast, and T-U-R-B-O. I hate using them when it's a bit more than a sprinkling of rain because then the wipers just wipe at nothing. When you have a stuffed nose and trying to sleep and need to consciously breath. Off said mild inconveniences. Not hell on earth. Dropping your keys trying to open the door. It always happens at the worst possible times. Like when you gotta piss real bad. Or your hands are full with bags. Or when someone's trying to murder you. I hate it when that happens. So relatable. Happened to me just yesterday man. Sucks. I wear nitro gloves at work and putting them on is a pain when my hands are sweaty or damp at all. I can't get my fingers inside and the nitro clings and twists and it feels awful. I used to carry a battery powered fan and use it to blow dry my sweaty hands between glove changes. Stealing this, finally. A use for my back pockets. Adds 1 of 7. Adds 2 of 7. Adds 3 of 7. An error occurred, this video cannot be played. Please refresh. Add 1 of 7. When someone opens my door. Comes into my room for a few seconds and then leave the damn door open. Sure I could get up and close it. But I did that last time you came in. And the time before. My mom did that all the time. Then she would get angry at me for yelling at her if I asked with a slightly louder voice for her to close it. This happens to me she says it like a conversation voice and I do it slightly louder and she be like WHO the F do you think you are BICTH? When I grab a hanger in my closet and 46 other hangers come with it no matter how organized it was. When the part of the song I want to hear is interrupted with navigation directions. And it's always, in 57 kilometers keep going straight. Walking through the city late at night after work. When I'm crossing a side street near the train station. Taxis will inevitably see me coming and pull up right in front of me so I have to walk around the back of them. Every single night. I tried a different route but it's longer. I tried waving them off. But they just come quicker. I tried running so I can get there before they block my path but they just accelerate. I think the only solution is to run up and do a hood slide. Get in one door and out the other. My earbuds being caught by their cord behind something and then getting yanked out of my ears. Infuriating. How about when you put your earbuds in your pocket and when you take them out it looks like you spent at least 10 minutes tying them in knots. How in the hell does that happen? For real. My pocket is better at Boy Scouts than I was. Okay, Timmy, can you tie an XYZ knot? I sure can, shoves earbuds in pockets and wiggles. Place scanned item in bagging area. Asterisk places scanned item in bagging area. Asterisk remove unscanned item from bagging area. Quote. When two people in a shop stop. Trolleys side by side and block the entire aisle just to have a conversation. Excuse me, death glares from both of them fuckers. You're the ones blocking the aisle. Go park your carts somewhere else and talk. Flies landing and walking on my skin. One of the most annoying things emo. They're just as bad when airborne in my opinion. We've evolved to underscore hate underscore the little bastards. When my Bluetooth doesn't connect in the car. It makes me want to stab my phone even though it's not a big deal at all and has zero effect on my life. It seems like my car randomly decides if it wants to use Bluetooth correctly or not. There's no rhyme or reason to it at all and it's the worst. Enter password. Your password is incorrect request password reset. Enter what you want it to be you cannot use your current password as your new password asterisk try to use that password your password is in core computer flies out window. 
when someone goes to shower, bathroom right as you were about to. Related. My sister would always go for a sit on the toilet just as we were about to walk out the door after visiting relatives. She was never quick, either. So we would all sit down again. End up staying another hour. Then repeat the whole charade. It was only ever a 15 minute drive home too. Edit, someone just reminded me that she would take her book in to read too. My stepson does this, shakes fist at sky. Stoplights feel time so that if you go in one direction for a few miles and you have to stop at a red light. Chances are you will have to stop at all the red lights in that direction. They're timed the opposite in San Francisco. So you can drive down Lombard across half the city with no reds. Problem is, you can only ever do that in the early morning. Because otherwise there's so much traffic it fucks it up anyway. When people stare at you while eating. I don't like people talking to me while I eat if they aren't eating as well. It this weird, baby. But I feel the same way, before we moved out of town. My husband's drunk uncle liked to come around. He would just turn up at random. Unannounced. The man never eats as far as I've seen. Always turn down any food. But if you're eating he will join you uninvited at the table. Sit way too fucking close. Talk way too fucking loud. And blow nasty booze breath all over you while you're trying to eat. It was disgusting. Having to untie my shoes to put them on. I always try to just slip my foot in but then I crush that part at the back and fuck up the shoe. I'm most comfortable in sneakers but the slip on ones don't look as nice skeptical smiley face. Get a shoehorn. Saves your time. And your shoe. Only bad thing is you'll start judging people who don't have one. My boyfriend bought one for all his friends which seems like a nice gesture. But it's really so that he doesn't have to bend down to put his shoes on at their houses. Oblivious drivers. Not ones texting. They know they're being an ass. I'm talking about those people who honestly have no fucking clue how to drive properly. Yet totally think they're good at it. Leaves me fuming. Especially when they're putting other people's lives in danger. Breaking a nail, which is horrible on its own already. And not having a nail file with me to fix the jagged edges so it keeps getting caught on things. Yes, especially when you've grown them out and they look really nice. If one of my nails break, I'm cutting them all the same length and starting again. I can't stand uneven nails. ATM fees. I will walk to another one. Even if it's ages away just to avoid paying a fee even if I'm wildly inconvenienced in the process. Yes I know it's petty. My bank refunds all ATM fees. WTF? Mine charges me another $3 fee for cheating on them. Those fucking mobile game ads on YouTube. They're all so insufferable quality. Want to go on an epic MMO adventure? Collect heroes. Slay bosses. Upgrade your team. Downloads game this is just fancy bejeweled. Drivers who don't indicate when changing lanes. It doesn't even take a second. Using my indicators is so ingrained in me I often do it in parking lots and in residential roads with no through traffic when turning into a driveway. That's the way to do it though. When it's a habit you don't even have to think about it. Socks that are too loose. Especially at the ankles. Sweating. I hate sweating so much. I just feel incredibly gross. Also, that feeling when you wear ankle socks and the elastic is too loose. And you can feel the socks sliding down your foot. Ugh. 